the Joe Rogan experience. What's your opinion? Uh, I wanted to pick your brain on that because I'm, I, me and my wife, we have a pact, okay? And okay. people are going to think we're crazy, but I don't give a shit. Uh, we have, uh, since we met in 2016 in, in Thailand, we never had a night apart. We, Whoa. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. No nights apart yeah, at all. And I, and I loved it because I said, I, I don't know, we have only one life and mm -hmm. I love her to that. She's my life partner. She's my, you know, she always believed in me. I think she's the reason why I became champion because prior to oh. meeting her, I was just no, no ambition, no nothing, you know? I mean, and then, My point is, is that the reason behind that is that I want to, uh, you need more coffee, eh? No. no? Uh, I need to, uh, I want to spend as much time as I can because you don't know if there's something after. So, um, what do you think? <laughs> I think you should be happy. And if you're yeah. happy doing that, that's no, great. No, no, I mean, not, not about that. I'm super happy with that. That's my goal in life is to like, to have as much, as much time as I can uh, mm -hmm. with her. But I mean, do you think... Because it's so, so hard. It's helping. No, no, not this about the afterlife. Like oh. after, I, 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 I'm like, mm. the, for for like science, I think it leads to that we're gonna just cease existing. Yeah, but that's not science, honestly. Okay. Well, science is the study of how the brain works and the study of where you know where the memory is located and what parts of the brain are affected by injury and studies on fMRI where they're measuring areas of the brain that are active during specific activities. That's real science. There's no real science about what happens when no, you no. die. It's Meaning, pure speculation. I mean like body or, or physical body. I'm yes. saying we're going to just like, it's going to die, right? And then okay. it, then my point is, I know there's absolutely no science about that, but my point is I'm doing speculations that if we do stop existing, we do stop living and breathing, mm -hmm. what's our essence where is it going right where's if is there an energy there's a spirit what like it's so hard to it's so hard to say well no one can really say exactly. it's pure speculation and i'm always skeptical of people that think they know for sure nothing happens as much as i'm skeptical of people that think for sure they know Absolutely. what happens Absolutely. it's just comforting for some people to have an answer Thank whether you. it's the lights go out and that's it i mean that's richard dawkins perspective oh yeah is it yeah but other people's perspective but he's never done psychedelics and mm. it's like he's got this This very reductionist perspective, scientific based on what we know so right he's now. He's adamant that if you when you die, you die. Yeah, but that's nonsense. He okay. doesn't know. I mean, okay. you you don't know. I mean, I, know. I understand that he's a man of science and logic, and mm -hmm. this is how he likes to frame the world. But the reality is, no one has any idea. And most people don't want to adhere to that train of thought because it's very scary. It's, well, it's, it's also. If you've done psychedelic drugs, you know that there's a very strange thing that can happen to your brain and to your consciousness when it interacts with certain molecules. What is that? Never tried and, it. Well, some people believe that that is a portal to the afterlife and <laughs> that what happens when you die and during periods of extreme stress, your brain produces psychedelic chemicals. Hmm. We don't know what the, what the soul is. What, is that a real thing? Is, that a no, is it nonsense? Yeah. We don't know. Uh, is your consciousness, your consciousness is clearly affected by injury, injury to the brain, and you're, it's clearly affected by age, it's clearly affected by deterioration, it's clearly affected by some uh, exogenous chemicals. Okay. But is... But is that you or is that something that your your brain is housing? I mean, what happens when you die? Does that does it transfer to something else? Do yeah. you does your brain, you know, yeah. house consciousness or does your body house consciousness or is consciousness a part of it? And when your brain shuts off, there's no activity. Does the consciousness cease? Yeah. Or do you transcend? No one knows. No uh, one really I think knows. Penn, uh, Penn and Teller, uh, he has a, no, what's, his, what's, his, what's the big guy's name? Penn. Penn, Penn, yeah, Penn, Penn yeah. I yeah. think I like his, his, what he said. He said, we don't know. That's yeah. the real answer. The real answer we is don't we know. don't know. Yeah. Anybody saying other thing than that mm -hmm. is, I mean, I don't know. Maybe they know something we don't know. But It's interesting. <laughs> It's interesting to think of. Um, you know, and there's a lot of people that don't believe that you are the same person every mm -hmm. day. There's a okay. lot of people that believe that when you go to sleep, that you you wake up in the morning and you assume that all of your memories of your life, uh, they're accurate and that you are absolutely the person that you were when you went to bed the day before. Mm. But you don't even know that. Oh, oh that's a great, oh, you okay. don't I never really thought about know that. that. 
you know that you have some memories that you you can call upon unless you record them like you do but even if you record them like who the fuck is recording it are you sure that's you okay i mean are you the same person i mean there's there's all these ideas of many worlds these quantum physicists hmm. like to bring up that there's a, a bunch of different interactions that are happening simultaneously and that it's so hard it's, it's to deep. even it's so hard to even to to even conceive of the possibility of multiple dimensions and then the the possibility of infinite universes that can I conceive that yeah that we travel back and forth through all these different things and that based on the decisions that you make based on who the fuck knows an infinite number of variables that your life it moves in a bunch of different directions. You know, okay. the idea of an infinite universe also means there's an infinite number of David Ledoux out there. I know. That's it's, what's really crazy. There's an uh, infinite number of young Jamies. There's an infinite number of, you know, fill in the blank, Neil deGrasse Tyson's, Mike Tyson, or Vander Holyfield. There's an infinite number of them. Hmm. And they're all doing different things okay, so and all slightly different lives. How was it when you did that, uh, when you did the, the, the MT? I've done it a bunch of times. It's very strange. I'm scared of that. You should be scared. Okay. I'm scared. I'm and scared what does it look like? It. What does it look like? What it looks is it? like, well, it depends on the purity of it. When you get it really pure, it's almost like a, a white looking crystal. Oh, Sometimes it's, crystal. it's a little bit yellowish. It's like more of a yellowish looking crystal. Um, it's, hmm. yeah, and you freebase it. Yeah. And that, that's something that our brain creates. Yes, secretes. your brain produces it. It's one of the reasons why your body can bring it back to baseline so quickly. Your body knows what to do with it. It has it. It's it's a part of your your whole you know chemical system. How did you come up? With, like, how did you read about this? How did you come up with this? <sighs> I don't remember how I first heard of it. I think I heard of it listening to Terrence McKenna talk about it. Okay. I think that was the first thing I ever heard of it. And um, when you know when I first did it, I I couldn't even believe. I couldn't believe that this is a a possibility. That this that this is something that exists on Earth that. So yeah. many people don't even know about. Did you like? You need to lock the doors when you do it. Like you need. I to mean, be... I did it in a. You know, I did it in uh, in my living room with some friends. Okay. Just sat down. How long does it last? About 15, 20 oh, it's minutes. Short. It's very I thought it was short. Thought like a three day thing. I'm gonna. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, okay. It feels like it's three days. Okay. It feels like forever and then instant. It feels like it just happened, and it also feels like forever. But it's uh, it's very strange. It feels like you've been there before. When you go there, really? that's one of the yeah. It's like you leave the world. You leave this space, and you go to some incredible dimension that seems more real than this. It's wow. very, very you intense. Think <laughs>